What is this tiny little orb going to do to this army? Nothing. It's just a tiny little explosive fireball sphere. Ooh, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. My name is Crow, and today we have a brand new story for you called General John's Redemption by Strober W. General John and General Rocky are sent by King Philip to capture Larry and his friends. And here you are, taking a look at General John. This is General John, the gentleman on the horse. And then this is General Rocky, the knight on the ground. And here we have an assortment of King Philip's armies. To oppose them, we have none other than Mr. Death himself. We have Bjorn, Halga, Larry, and Benny. My four compadres, my four main friends, my four foursome. And Bjorn, you're looking very skinny today. Usually a little more, a little more hefty, a little more chunky. Halga, you're looking as beautiful as always. Larry, keep it real. And Benny, play me some sick tunes. Now this story is about the redemption of General John. Because right now, General John is in the service of King Philip. And King Philip is usually an enemy of Larry. Sometimes a friend by necessity, generally an enemy. So through the course of the story, will General John become a friend of Larry? That's a great question. The battle commences. In goes Mr. Death himself using his scythe's great effect. And he just rips General John off the horse. Oh, General John, I'm supposed to be your friend. And you just got completely destroyed. I'm so, so sorry. Mr. Death himself was slaughtered by the knights. But in goes Bjorn. Then he seems to be dead. Helga seems to be dead. Uh, Bjorn looks like he could use a little bit of help. One for you. And one for you. And one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you, and one for you. Bjorn, I've got your back, buddy. <laughs> oh no, Bjorn's done. They're just Larry. No, 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 no. We can't have any of this. You, 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 General Rocky. Have a rock, General Rocky. That's a whoa. whoa he's a little, little drunk there. Have another rock, General Rocky. Get rock. <laughs> Still chilling, Larry. Your eyes are a little, uh, a little messed up. Put, put the eyes in the same spot. Make, make, look, look, look at one thing. One thing at a time. King Philip gives the order to execute Larry and his friends. But at that moment, General John realizes how corrupt his king really was. So he tries to save them. And as you can see, General John, I've always had a good feeling about you, General John. I always had a feeling you were on the good side. General John is ready to lance all of these poor defenseless archers. You know, General John. Now that we're talking about not having a conversation, this is murder. But on the flip side, this is also war. And in war, killing is just part of the game. And General Rocky is here with his four chosen knights. He's ready to throw down. And our usual suspects seem to be good to... Oh, Helga, what happened? There are two possibilities to explain Helga right now. One, she had too many sandwiches. Two, she's pregnant. And considering this is actually the next day, we're going to go with the sandwiches option just because of common sense. Getting fueled up for battle. Nothing wrong with that. General John comes in and <laughs> takes out all of those archers. Oh my goodness. And now he went straight at General Rocky, knocking one of the squires off the map. Mr. Death himself is here. And now he's ready for General Rocky. Just took the scythe to the face as actually Mr. Death himself does a matrix dodge on the shield. Check that out. Talk about reflexes. You actually killed General Rocky with one swing and then dodged the shield with the other. Well, not really a swing, but with a dodge. Larry and the others escape General Rocky and run to hide in the forest. But when they arrive, they find General Rocky waiting for them. So let me get this straight. You guys knocked General Rocky unconscious and then ran away. And then while running from General Rocky, you are confronted by General Rocky. Either some wizard teleported him or General Rocky is in fact a demon. How on earth did you get here so fast? It makes no sense. Also, I see you brought your own priest. Good for you. Get a little healing in there. Um, Your holiness, you know you're on the wrong side, right? You're on the evil side. General John is ready to charge in. Mr. Death himself is here. Helga looks like she stopped eating too many sandwiches. Looking really good. Larry's looking fantastic, though one of his legs. Um, Do you have a peg leg? Let's send in General John first. Going in with a big charge through all the squires. Knocking down that front line. What a great charge. The healer doing his job. General John. General John coming in for another pass, going straight through. General Rocky missing most of the squires, and the horse looks like it's almost going to go off the edge. Oh, that was close. Mr. Death himself is starting to pick off the squires, going in for another charge right through the squires, and then Mr. Death himself with a huge swing, 
Helga with the headbutt on the corpse because Helga missed his target. Mr. Death himself with another massive swing of that scythe doing so much damage. Anyone seen General John? Anyone seen General John? Um, G G General John? G General John, you're- Oh, there he is. Hey, you didn't die. And your horse is fine as you- Did you just scale up a cliff? Dude, this horse is climbing straight up a straight up and down cliff. Straight up a straight up and down cliff. Yeah, that's a set. That's a real sentence. And it makes sense to me. Mr. Death himself putting it right through the priest. Remember that one time I told you you were on the wrong side? You were on the evil side? I mean, I get that that's Mr. Death. And Mr. Death is generally considered to be evil. But if you were on our side, you'd still be alive. Everyone goes to the underworld thinking they will be safe there. But somehow, Larry gets captured. So here we are in the underworld. You can see our heroes are here. Mr. General John, Mr. Bjorn, Helga looking good, Benny looking good, Mr. Death looking good as always. And again, this is your domain. I hope you look great in your domain. And then there's Larry. Larry's off to the side. Hey, uh, Larry, you really shouldn't be hanging out near an edge of a cliff. You know, things happen to people who chill on cliff edges. I'm not saying you're about to slip and fall, but if you do, it's not looking really good down there, bud. And there's also the exceptionally rare chance. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but there's like a one in a million chance that there happens to be a random harpooner off to the side. No one suspects the random harpooner. Larry's chilling, looking at the edge. All of a sudden, boom, the harpooner pulls Larry and kidnaps him down to the, the ocean. And, and Larry drowns. Because that's what happens. And then the harpooner's like, hey, I'm, 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 I'm going down too. <laughs> Bjorn, death and General John gather some of their forces and go out to try and free Larry because apparently the harpooner stole Larry to King Philip because King Philip has enlisted the help of harpooners. We have Mr. Death himself still looking fantastic. You've got Helga who is wide-eyed and ready to fight. You look a little surprised there, Helga. Benny's looking nice and healthy. Bjorn's looking great today. General Death seems to have enlisted the help of two friends who also are on horses and they're ready to rock as well. We have skeleton archers. We have Viking brawlers all against the forces of King Philip's and General Rocky's armies. King Philip is looking rather big headed today. He probably has a big head because he successfully stole Larry. A little bit of ego going on. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm going to have a little bit of fun at King Philip's expense as the battle begins begins and i keep king philip away from the fight because i kind of want to be a bit of a jerk i kind of want to be annoying king philip's kind of a bad guy look at that beautiful fight isn't that an amazing fight no 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 king philip you don't get to join the fight you get to stay with me stay with the god crow let the fight go on you can see general john doing his best going through the enemy armies the fire archers doing a great job as well has anyone seen um king Phil what what happened to Did king philip fall has anyone seen King Philip? I seem to have lost him. I had him harpooned. And, and now he's gone. Did I put King Philip in the forest? Did I accidentally stick him? Hey, King, what are you doing in here? This is not a place for a king. Here, come on out. Come on out. Come on out, King Philip. Come on out. Let me, let me pull you out here. Let me, let me take you for a spin into the sky. King Philip, stop trying to hide in the forest. You think you're going to be able to hide from General John and Bjorn and even from death himself as if come with me into the sky, General John. Come with me into the sky. Oh, no, King Philip's falling. Ah, excuse me, your majesty. I'm not done with you yet. I'm having way too much fun with you. You need to come with me into the sky. Come into the sky, King Philip. Oh, no, you're being shot at. No, don't get shot at. So King Philip is pretty high into the sky. And now King Philip is going to plummet to his death. He didn't die. How dare you not die? Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Now those harpoons in your eyes and all that jazz. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Yes, yes, yes. Come to Crow. Get in amongst the people. Say hello to Bjorn. Here, let, me, let me drag you to Bjorn. There you go. Let's get shot at. Mr. Bjorn with the axe swings, the fire arrows. Mr. Bjorn's on fire, but it's okay. It's fine. He's on fire, but he's a, he's a king of the ice and snow. A little bit of fire is not going to hurt him. When everybody returns to the farm, some pirates capture Larry, Helga, Benny, Death, and Bjorn. What? How would pirates capture them? That makes zero sense. Oh, I see what's going on here. So the harpooners. The harpooners do a sneak attack and grab our friends just like this all of a sudden oh um harpooners you all missed mr death and now mr death is just gonna mess you up oh no mr death's falling off the edge the harpooners are running away with mr death 
No. Uh, excuse me, Harpooner. You need to go off the edge of the map. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Off you go. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Because we need to win this somehow so we can continue on to the story. General John gathers what forces he can and sets out to free Larry and the others. So after we freed Larry, Larry was captured again. And now we have to free Larry again. There's King Philip. You, I could have swore I just killed you. Could have swore you were just dead. And General Rocky, General Rocky, you've died like 500 times. Why are you still alive? We have his archers and squires in the back. I have, oh, it's a big head squire. Oh, that's a big head squire. Hey, what's up, brother, buddy? General John and his knights are here as well. I'm going to say I'm a little bit frustrated. I did not expect this to happen. We saved Larry. I didn't think we'd have to save him again. So I'm going to punish General John. And by General John, I mean General Rocky with a little tiny orb. Look at that little tiny orb of fire. What could this possibly do? What is this tiny little orb going to do to this army? Nothing. It's just a tiny little explosive fireball sphere. <laughs> that was so mean. I, I, I did a little bit of overkill there. After freeing Larry and his friends, General John was known as a trusted ally to Larry and the others. Oh, General John. Yay. Look, everyone. They're getting together. They're so happy as somebody fell off the edge of the map. <laughs> Poor Hobbit. You were the sacrificial hobbit so that we could actually finish this video. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hobbit. Thank you.